Badgers and their sets have been protected in the UK since the 1992 Badgers Act. This is not the case in most other countries. Here in Sweden, they manage a mammal that, left unchecked, is a kind of four-legged Klingon, destroying everything in its path. After a day's wild boar training, Tim has been invited out by Michael for an evening sport Swedish style, hunting badgers with dogs. We're shooting them because um, they're like a vacuum cleaner, you know, they take everything from eggs to, to meat. They're nesting birds as well. So yeah, yeah, they'll take nesting birds as well. Young, young chicks. And yeah, else. and, and really, if, it's, yeah. if it's young chickens as well, they'll uh, take that as well. The badger is normally taking easy ways. They go on roads, they go on the fields. So we go to fields or like the, where the cattle is because they go and get uh, worms, for example, in the, sh in the shits of the cattle. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to go there or you go to a feeding place where you have the corn. So just to get some tracks after the, the, the badger so the dog can get the sense and then he'll follow the track to find oh, so it. So we're using a dog? Yeah. Yeah, obviously to, to actually find it. find it. And the name of the dog? Stiffy. <laughs> but in his proper name, in his um, nameplate, you know, on the board, it's called Stiffler. That's nice. <laughs> but you call him? I call him Stiffy because it's easy to pronounce it when you stand and screaming it in the forest. So you're shouting Stiffy, Stiffy in the middle of a forest? Yeah, and people is under, don't understand why I'm standing and screaming. <laughs> hunting in this way is also a good way of training the dogs for boar hunting. It's exactly the same format, but one is done at night, the other during the day. And Stiffler is trained to know the difference. Otherwise, we would be finding all sorts out here. You can hear him barking. Probably it's, uh, it's under something because you hear him just a little bit. So either way, it's in a den or it's under a, like a, just a stone. But we will see him soon. We have to walk there now. Okay? Makes sense. We charge through the forest and clear fell towards the noise. Oh, they have pet down here as well. Did you hear it? You can hear it? Oh, you hear it? I'll just have a check if I can see it. Okay. Yeah, let's... going on now the dog is it's very close barking at this badger now and um, he, he will attack the, the dog will try to attack it all the time but the problem here is now that you have a, a very big rock here and he's just to the left of it so it's very hard to you can just hear the badger so he's very very close but I can't even see it when I was laying down it's tough to see how we will get a clear chance, so we hey, leave hey. him be. Hey. This will live for uh, another day. It's quite exciting, isn't it? It is. Hey. Yeah. Well, what well, was really... Um, you could well, really thought, hear it. Uh, well, yes, but also it's, we're actually running through... The forest, the yeah. middle of a forest, in the yeah. middle of the night, yeah. pitch dark. We're trying to chase you, yeah. and you're a bit kind of younger than us. Yeah, yeah. And we're crashing through the trees, going <laughs> up over rocks, down rocks, and we end up next to... I don't know what that is, a huge boulder. Yeah. And obviously the badger's gone to ground. So. Yeah, it is. But, it, but it, like I told you, he's just taking a temporary place where yeah. he oh, yeah, hide yeah. He's, he's hiding. So yeah. this yeah. is a place, we'll, we'll not get this tonight, but we'll get it another night. Yeah. But it's, it's fun. He found one anyway, so that was the point. Yeah. And um, we'll carry on. We'll go back and then we'll try we'll another, one. another one. Yeah. Superb. Half an hour later, Stifler brings a badger to bay. This time, he's holding one above ground. Michael calls Stifler off, steps in and dispatches the badger. No gassing, job. no poisoning, just a very fast, clean headshot. Uh, it's a male. It's a big male. 
this will be uh, around the night. This one will be maybe two, three years old. This one. You can understand in, in, in England, there's you know there's a there's a huge uproar about the badger cull in certain parts of the country. Yeah. And there's no denial that they are beautiful animals. They are. They're, they're stunning, absolutely stunning animals. Um, but you know they do a lot of damage as well. So in, in your in in your country, you do something about it. Back in the UK, the government pays millions to cull badgers to halt the spread of bovine tuberculosis. And just because the politicians are held hostage by one of their own laws. Here in Sweden, badger culling is efficient, free and carried out by people who understand wildlife management, not by civil servants.